Welcome back channel. Hope everybody's doing okay. Hope everybody enjoyed my Memorial Day video that I put out a little bit ago. And let me tell you guys, since then, we had some storms come through North Texas that were incredible. Maybe the strongest winds I've ever seen. They have just torn apart trees, uh, hailstones the size of tennis balls in some cases. Now at my house we, we only got pea-sized hail so no big deal from a hail standpoint but driving around after the thunderstorm and it came in in the morning sort of surprised everybody just as everybody was waking up. I mean trees down all over the neighborhood. I mean every street had major branches ripped off trees. Some trees broke straight in half. Other trees uprooted. Crazy. And then of course we had tornadoes up in Salina, a few towns north of here. So I'd like all of you guys to join me in just saying a quick prayer for the folks here in North Texas that have suffered from these recent storms good gracious my heart goes out to them thankful to God that we didn't have any damage or injury in our area but other than the trees good gracious and, and our trees are fine it tore a few limbs off some trees in the back but small limbs but I like this road I love this road I forget what the name of it is. I'll throw it up at the top of the screen, but it just gets in the summer just covered with like a a canopy of greenery. Love it. Anyway, as the thumbnail alluded to, folks, I am making some changes to my channel. So let me explain. <laughs> You know my channel forever has been a mix of photography and motorcycles. Moto vlogs, installations, part reviews, things like that. And it's very clear that the motorcycle content does a lot better than the photography content. I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to separate the two. I'm going to create another channel, a different channel than this one, for my photography. And just let it grow organically. You know, if it never does much, fine. But it's a little confusing, I think, and maybe you guys have felt this when it comes to my channel. You know, you come to my channel, you see all this motorcycle and Goldwing content in there, yet the title is Robert White Photography and the banners, a beautiful photograph and there's some photography videos mixed in and you're like, what the heck? Or you come here for the motorcycle content and you're like bored to tears with the photography content. You know, that's evident just because the likes are so low on the photography content that you motorcycle people, nothing against it, but it's just not as popular. Photography isn't as these motorcycles and it confuses you guys too. You're like, can you just get back to the moto vlogs and content we want to see? So, the channel you're watching right now will remain, and all of you, please stay subscribed. It is going to be motorcycle-related content going forward, and I will be creating a new channel for my photography, and all of you guys will get an invite to that new channel, if you so choose. Uh, there's going to be some stunning beautiful stuff on there. I mean, already, Antarctica, Faroe Islands, got something coming up this year you're not going to want to miss. You may truly love it, but I'm going to separate them so that it's just not as confusing. And I can focus on one or the other, you know, I can I, at, at a time. Um, 
so that's the big news. That's the changes coming to my channel. Really shouldn't affect any of you guys because most of you are here for the motorcycle content anyway, so no change for that. You'll just on this channel won't be seeing any more photography videos. Those will be on my second channel. And I'll send everybody a link to that channel. So if you want to go subscribe to it, you can. Doesn't mean you have to watch anything, but want to try to grow that channel too. Have you guys been watching Aiden's Adventures? Good gracious, he's on his way to Alaska. The boy is a posting phenom. Like one or two videos and a couple of shorts every day. It's hard to know where he is. And then Cruise Man should be on his way back from Midland soon. Hope he had a great time out there visiting his brother. Got great response in my last video about my camera angles here. So I think this is going to be my setup going forward. Got the Ace Pro, as I said, on the action mount, angled out a little bit, facing backwards. Hey guys. So that you can see me and whatever else. And then I've got the GoPro on my right handlebar, standard mount, facing forward. So you can see where I'm going and you can see the dashboard and see some of the bike, which is cool. I'll stay in your lane. Thank you. So I'm kind of digging this setup. It takes the takes the weight off of my helmet, which I'm happy about, and I'm absolutely going to need on this trip to Colorado. Light on the neck. That's important. And yet I think it gives you pretty much everything that you want to see. You know, what it doesn't give you is the ability to, if it was on my chin, I could point my head in one direction and you could see what I'm looking at. So you kind of lose that. But to be honest with you, there's probably not a, a lot of that anyway. So yeah, loving this uh, camera setup. I think we're going to go with it. Getting a quick ride in this evening, not only to let you know about the changes to the channel, but in between storms, because all this week, at one point or another in each day, storms are forecasted to come through the area. They were supposed to come through today, but not a drop, nor did it even look like it. It's a beautiful evening. Bike says 84, it's probably about 80. And then tomorrow, and just the rest of the week through Friday, every every day is forecasted to have some kind of thunderstorms. So I'm not riding to work. Just thought I'd get a ride in while I can. What's up here in the road? Uh, big metal. Well, they're doing some maintenance or something. Well, those things always sound loose when you go over them. <laughs> a little unnerving. Anyway. A lot of you folks responded to my last video when I did some shout outs to just about everybody I can think of. I keep a running list on my phone because I am not smart enough to memorize everybody's name. Some of you I know just from routine. You comment so much and I see you every time. Some I don't, but I don't want to lose track of you, so I keep it all written down. Because it is a hallmark of my channel, I believe that I will certainly respond to comments. If you, write, if you take the time to say something to me, 
then I feel like I have an obligation to respond and acknowledge that you're trying to hold a conversation or communicate with me. So I try to do that. I think you guys have seen that. There may come a day where my channel's too big. That's just I don't have enough hours in the day. That's both good and bad. <laughs> but let me know what you think, guys, of my changes, my proposed changes. I've already created the channel. I'll be sending out a link later on it. But do you think it's a good idea? Still keeping both things, just separating them so it's not confusing. And each channel can focus on its intended audience. And please do, if you really like my photography, please go follow my Facebook page, Robert White Photography, on Facebook. And I also have a website that has all my best stuff. And it's a little odd. The website is www.robertwhite.photography. Not .com. Most every website is a .com, not my photography site. It is a .photography. So, www.robertwhite.photography will get you there. And of course, I don't, I don't sell on my website. You don't have to be worried about that. You're not going to get pitched anything. But if you happen to see something on my website that you just really are in love with, and I've had people, you know, want to do canvases of my uh, Longhorn cattle that I have on there and some other things, some canvases of the Colorado shots I have. If you see something on there that you like, just email me. Ah, you know, I take credit card, Venmo, all kinds of things, and we'll work out a way to get you what you want. I'll give you suggestions on different ways to print those photos. So if you see something you like, man, reach out. We can make that happen. Oh, beautiful evening. The sun is setting. Temperature's great. But yeah, leave a comment below about what you think about my changes. Yeah, a couple weeks, a month from now, I might be going, what the hell was I thinking? But I really think this is going to provide clarity and focus for everybody, to be honest with you. It, I just think it is. Thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate all of you. I really do. You don't know how much I appreciate you coming back week after week to watch these videos and like and subscribe and leave a comment. Just love you guys. All right, we'll talk to you again soon. Until then, ride safe and God bless.